What up, it's Warchief, and today I'm going to show you what I did with this rap beat. I turned the rap beat into a bass drop, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I feel like I can give you a bunch of tips if you make rap and you want to try to make EDM or bass music. It's not really a tutorial, it's just me talking about things and things that you could do in your music production. So yeah, so this is rap beat to bass drop. Alright, let's go. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to see more content from me. All right, let's go. So we're in Bitwig, and I am going to show you this beat I uh, made. It's like a little rap beat. It's nothing too, nothing too crazy. Let's just listen to it. That was the rap version, and then I will play the like uh, bass drop, the other version right here, and it's pretty cool. But here we go. You see what I mean? It's like a whole new song. It's so crazy. It sounds great though. But anyways, I'll show you how I did this. So first, I made this rap beat a long time ago. I think it was like two months ago. I was like, man, I, I'm just, I'm just not into rap that much. I want to make rap beats, but I'm not that. I'm not really into it. So I was like, man, maybe I can make something with this song because I really like the song I made, and I don't want to waste it. I don't want it to just sit in my files forever. So I was like, man, I think I could do something with it for the whole War Chief project. So I just these are just presets. I, these are not going to be the final sounds. Um, this is just an idea. This is how I do my ideas. I just get a bunch of serum presets and I try to get a good pattern and then I mess with it until I think what sounds good and this is what I got. And you're probably wondering why is this an audio and this is not an audio. Well, I will show you. This right here is an audio because I bounced it down. Because I messed with the uh, LFO right here uh, to get a different sound. And I wanted to keep this LFO because I didn't render it yet. So that. It's just brown. It's nothing too crazy. I just will kept it right there. But eventually I am going to, I'll switch it up and I'll show you how to do that. We'll press uh, control B and that will bounce it down into audio and you can see the audio file right there and then we will change the LFO to this one and then we'll probably bounce it down so let's try to find a cool LFO nah I like that one. That one sounds pretty cool. And we'll bounce that one down. Control B. And you're probably wondering why, how I'm cycling through these so fast. I'm actually just hitting Alt and then I'm clicking on the little folder and it scans through uh, multiple uh, files in your LFO folders. You, there's somatic ones, there's uh, audio seed ones. Most of these are free and I got them offline. So yeah, that's where I got them But yeah, that's why those are in audio and then I was like man I got to get a good pattern because the sound of this 808 sounded really good. I really like this sound of the 808 It just sounds real different and I was like I want something like plucky like dun 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 I made this pattern right here and I was like uh, there's a hundred ways you could do this. You could be like, yeah, you could go dun, 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 And that's what I was thinking of. But then I came up with this. It just gives it better flow. That's one thing you got to think of. In this beat, the only thing I did to, is add extra, like, I guess, bass drop elements. And that's it. I didn't change the drums. I didn't change the 
anything else. All they did was add some extra bait drop elements and it turned out into a whole different song because this sounds nothing like this. So if I wanted to, I could actually uh, put one of these tracks out as the just the plucks and then I could do the drop for this song and have keep the same drums and everything else and not many people would really notice. They'd just think I used the same uh, 808 that I made and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's that easy folks. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's like eight years of experience and I'm still learning every day. The other day I learned something I had no idea about in spam and I'm glad I learned that. Maybe I'll share that with you next time. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that you can make rap beats into drops or you can make a drop. Well, you can't really make a drop into a rap beat, but it this all started from a rap beat that I tried to make. And I am going to put this song out. I'm going to finish it, put it out, and then I'll talk about it later. So thank you. If you learned anything from this, uh, let me know. Really wasn't a tutorial. It was just something cool. I thought I could show you, maybe give you some inspiration. And yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think about the whole rap beat or the drop. Or have you ever done this? Have you ever made... A rap beat and turned it into a drop or you made a drop and then you're like ah, i'm not feeling it and turn it into something else uh yeah let me know in the comments and i hope you have a great week so make sure you subscribe if you want to keep up to date and hit that bell and you'll get the notifications for new videos every time i upload i'm going to be uploading well i'm going to be trying to upload on tuesdays and thursdays vlog video on thursdays tutorial slash production video on Thursdays. Did I say that right? Tuesday, Thursdays, Tuesday vlog, Thursday tutorial. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and weekend, and I will catch you guys next Tuesday. See ya. Peace. Base drop.